In this problem, we need to find f of g of x and g of f of x and determine whether the pair of functions f and g are inverses of each other. We are told that f of x equals 7x plus 8 and g of x equals x minus 8 all divided by 7. So first we need to find f of g of x. And remember, the we always work from the inside out, so I'm going to replace g of x with its definition. So f of g of x equals f of, instead of g of x, I'm going to put x minus 8 all divided by 7. So now we need to evaluate f at x minus 8 divided by 7. So up in our definition of f of x, remember x is just a placeholder. And all I have to do is replace every x in the definition of f with x minus 8 over 7. So I'm going to get 7 times, instead of x, I'm going to put x minus 8, all divided by 7, and then don't forget your plus 8. So now all I have to do is simplify this expression. Since x minus 8 over 7 is a fraction, I'm going to turn a 7 into a fraction by dividing it by 1. And then since I'm multiplying these two fractions, I can reduce my two sevens. And I get 1 times x minus 8 divided by 1, which is just x minus 8. Then don't forget your plus 8. So what am I going to get? I'm going to get x and then negative 8 plus 8 is 0. So f at g of x is equal to x. So we've completed the first part. Now we need to find g at f of x. So g at f of x equals g evaluated at f of x. And what's f of x? 7x plus 8. And so now to figure out g of 7x plus 8, Every x in g of x has to be replaced by 7x plus 8. So this x now becomes 7x plus 8. And then I have minus 8. And that whole quantity is divided by 7. So simplifying this, I get 7x. 8 minus 8 is 0, so I get 7x over 7. The two 7s reduce, and I just get left with x. So g of f of x equals x. So I've done the first part. I've figured out f of g of x. I've done the second part. I know what g of f of x is. And now we need to determine whether the pair of functions f and g are inverses of each other. Well, how do we do that? To show that f and g are inverses of each other, we must show that f composed with g of x equals x, which is what I did up here, and g of f of x equals x, which is what I did right here. So since both of them equals x, I know that f and g are inverses of each other. So I've completed the problem.